Bonaire's southern coast, one of the least dove areas on the island. Most divers who visit Bonaire look at the southern coast by going from one landmark to the next. They park their cars at Willem Storm Lighthouse and stretch their legs to go out and look at the sea. I asked tourists about the radar tower and people say, what radar tower? In fact, it is not for the inexperienced diver due to the occasional strong currents and waves and limited points of entry. Yet hidden beneath the waves is a reef as beautiful as anywhere in the world. And it is home to giants. Hey guys, this is Rich and welcome to A Diver's Life. The world's coral is under stress from climate change, land-based sediments, fishing, hurricanes, disease, and pollution. Elkhorn, one of the fastest growing corals, is critically endangered. When we do see them, they are usually relatively small and never experience what they were once like. To experience amazing coral, many of us travel to remote places like the Coral Triangle in Indonesia. The reason the Coral Triangle is so beautiful is constant currents regulate the temperature and bring a constant source of food. Also, much of the area is relatively close to the surface, providing a source of sunlight that causes algae to grow within coral polyps, providing a source of food. Similar conditions are present in Bonaire's southern coast. However, unlike Bonaire, the Coral Triangle does not have Elkhorn coral. In this episode, I am going to take you to Bonaire's Southern Reef, where we discovered healthy Elkhorn corals so massive it boggles the mind to show you what will disappear if we don't work now to preserve our oceans. Come join us, take advantage of a 10-day window for a drop in the wind to explore Bonaire's rarely dove Southern Reef. Bonaire's Southern Reef is truly a step back in time. My dive buddy Ando takes the lead out to the wall's edge. Healthy sea fans, hard corals, and gorgonians fight for space. This is a beautiful sea plume. The frequent currents and surge have kept the temperature here under control, and the marine life here is designed to withstand the normal harsh conditions. The lights illuminate this sea rod at the edge of the drop-off. Schools of brown chromis reflect our lights. This boulder star coral is just stunning. Much of the reef is within 5 to 10 meters allowing for a garden to form with just enough sun. This reef is huge. It is time we pick up the pace.
The beauty of this reef can easily put you in a trance. Snap out of it and turn to the shallows and see the giants that await, the sun worshippers. Alcorn coral is among the most important corals that built the Caribbean reefs for the last 5,000 years. The size of these boggles the mind, far bigger than most any dive location in the Caribbean. Ocean warming causes corals to release the algae that live in their tissue to provide food, resulting in bleaching and in many cases death. Like Indonesia up to now, the currents and waves have regulated the temperature change on this reef. Fish stay amongst the Elkhorn for protection. We found these white spotted filefish. They are usually found in pairs. We found these vibrant blue parrotfish in the same area on multiple dives. This squid became a bit nervous of our presence and it seemed to retract its tentacles. Just this one spot had princess parrotfish, blue tang, black durgeon, brown chromis, and a Spanish hogfish. These sun worshippers we encountered came in many shapes and sizes. Oh, did I mention size? Every now and then, you would think you found the big one. Then you come across this monster. Ando managed to get into this shot to provide scale so that you can begin to imagine its size. Ando is dwarfed by this amazing elk horn. Yet, just when you think nothing can top it, you encounter the giant of them all, the beast. This elk horn is easily the size of two Toyota Tacoma sized pickup trucks and home to a school of sergeant majors. In shallower water, healthy elkhorn form dense groups called thickets. 50% of elkhorn coral colonies are the result of asexual reproduction caused by coral branches breaking off and reattaching to the substrate forming a new colony. This is known as fragmentation. Elkhorn sexual reproduction occurs when coral colonies release millions of gametes by broadcast spawning. This occurs once a year in August or September. What is clear is ideal conditions have allowed this critically endangered species of coral to thrive along Bonaire's southern coast. Yet in many parts of the Caribbean this species is nearly gone. Bonaire is starting to experience accelerated growth as much of the Caribbean has been spoiled due to hurricanes, climate change, pollution, and man's desire to build and travel without regard to what lies beneath the sea. It is our hope that you will see this and speak out to protect it. 
Once it is gone, it will be very hard to put back. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit the subscribe button to see more on this channel. Thank you for watching.